All right, Aquarius, welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get into your upcoming predictions for your month of December, December 2022. We're going to get into a tarot card reading all about your situation and challenges that might may or may not arise throughout your, your love situation. It'll pick up on just a few. We're going to find out what to focus on, you know, anything going on in the past that might have affected it, as well as any possibilities surrounding it. And then, of course, getting all the way into a likely outcome. And we are going to get straight into it. Don't want to beat around the bush. All right, Aquarius. Finding out all that we need to know from the universe to Aquarius. Finding out what we'll add to this. What we'll take away. Okay. Okay. So I feel like there's a situation. Um, it's probably already come to an ending or you're kind of in the midst of it right now. But in December, it's 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 not going to be quite closed out. So you're not going to have anything. You're not going to feel fully complete in this situation and the burdens that you're feeling right now or whatever this situation could be. I want you to know, though, that, yes, you may feel like there's chaos in the moment, but I feel like the challenge here is just understanding that this is, you know, this is just showing you a little bit of light and it's showing you what is to come. So you're not stuck. You're not going to be in this place where you're never going to get to your ending because this is a new beginning, but December is going to show you a little bit of shadow in the beginning, but it is getting to a place where it is coming to a close, a chapter closing on some sort of burden having to do with work or lust, love, whatever that might mean. So this could be some sort of a fallout, breakup, or it's just in general burdens between you and another person. We're going to find out what is another focus of this situation. More, a little bit more about your person. Could be a fire sign. Could be a water sign. So I just, I feel like there's a huge non-focus on what's in front of you. So I don't know if it's just you or the other person, but I do feel like there's somebody not really focusing on the love that's in front of them okay so I feel like they're looking elsewhere so they're always constantly looking ahead like what's next you know what do we got next here I feel like it's very passive it's very uncomfortable it's very annoying it's like come on come on not just choose me I'm sitting right in front of you okay that's kind of where we're at on this yeah because you were thinking that this was going to be some sort of a soulmate situation and so now you're going to be put into a place where you're definitely going to have to make a decision or a choice on this and this will come to an ending this is a burden i mean it's a burden when you have a hot mess of a person around you who is not paying attention to motherfucking you you're like where the motherfuck are you <laughs> why aren't we motherfucking hanging out like why don't you like me <laughs> okay Chris? you definitely need you definitely deserve it so fuck fuck them Sorry, I'm in an F word mood to deal with that bomb. Okay, so anything going on that was in the recent past that might have some sort of affection on this would just be, again, this could be earth sign, a water sign, air sign, or Gemini in specific. Um, this could be somebody who um, you had a lot of focus on this relationship. You put a lot of detail into it. It's very reliable. It was supposed to be like this safe thing, and it was, you know, it was going to be a journey. Um, the experience, however, has begun to dwindle. So the experience is kind of starting to feel like shit. It is being kind of tapped out. It's a little exhausted for your taste, and you're like, you know what? I want shit to mean something. I want it to mean something, and it's just not. Okay. Yeah, so just in the past, you, this is just confirming you were not really wanting to see the truth quite at first. And once you were seeing the truth of the situation, once the information came into the brain cell and you were like, Jesus, okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this situation. That's where you're headed. Cut off communication. You might not even communicated your way out of that. You might have just like been thinking about it. But in December, that, so anyway, that's putting you in the place where it's coming into a burden ending area. So basically, this is literally just going to be the shitty part of it. And like the light is coming. OK, the good parts are coming. Just keep your head up and keep moving forward and don't let anybody look in the other way. Don't let them distract you. If they're looking the other way, then that's what they get. OK, they get the heart of whatever they're staring at, not you. OK. Yeah. OK. All right. Um, anything that is going to be some sort of uh, possibilities kind of really pushing into December. So a little more, couple more possibilities here in a power. 
Okay, so there could be somebody coming in. This person could be very amazing for you. I feel like they definitely could be an opportunity. Um, I don't know if they're going to come in as a relationship. It could just be for like work or like a one night thing bang. I don't think it's going to be like a whole long thing. Yeah, it's not. It's just going to, if it were, it would. Oh, that scared me. My kid's fan in the bathroom. I was like, what the hell? Um, so, yeah, again, this is not going to be a partnership. This is not going to be something of, you know, trust or uh, romance, uh, relationship, an affair, maybe, a one-night jam, maybe. Or this person could just be trying to put purpose into your action. I mean, they could just be helping into your work or whatever it is that you do that you really, really fucking love. I mean, this person's super excited to be around you, though. And so, you know try to take it in. I know that your head hurts and you don't want to and you're like, I'm already dealing with enough here. And there's a bunch, bunch of truth running around you and you're really just, again, just trying to grasp the situation that has happened in December. Um, try to give it a chance though. What is the likely outcome? What's the hope? Okay. So I don't know how much truth is going to get out on the situation or how much balance is going to come back into play, but I mean, that's not really what's fully important. I think that you're just going to continue to keep moving through as much as you can with purpose. But again, you feel like a burnout. You feel like this is a hot mess. You're kind of annoyed by all this and this just keeps coming up. So whatever this is, I feel like your personal energy is definitely on fire, but it's on fire in the wrong motherfucking way jump in the pool and cool off okay one more card maybe yeah just continue to keep on doing you because by the ending of this month you are going to be in a way different place you could even be in a different place with somebody else but whichever or i feel like you're going to be in a different space as far as love connections and relationships and feelings you're going to understand exactly what that was all about but just, you got to wait until then, okay? Um, please hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot if you would. Please and thank you. Go ahead, share, like, and follow on all of your social media. Please enjoy your turkey turkey day. Um, and be safe. Don't drink and drive. If you need to get grandpa home, call a taxi or an Uber or whatever. All right. I will see you later.